Mesdames, Messieurs, encore avec nous, nous avons même petit cousin nous, Anchita Palé. Anchita Palé, c'est là que nous avons parlé de petit cousin. Nous avons remarqué que nous avons un bel bébé de côté de nous. Il Niji Sebek. Niji Sebek est une actrice et puis non seulement ça, tout est un modèle. Il est un petit bagage de tout le bagage. So, uh, Niji, would you please introduce yourself to the audience? Sure. Before I get started, though, what was that? Your sexy voice? That was what it was? You can call it that, but it could be more sexy than that. Oh, it can be more sexy. Try it again. Let me see you say my name sexy first so that I can feel, you know, I can raise it. <coughs> Let me see. Niji. Oh, uh -huh, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself? Absolutely, to absolutely. Yours? Hi, guys. I'm Niji Civic. I'm an actress first, then model. I love what I do, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Niji, do you think it's hard to date in Miami, actually? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, it, to be honest with you, I kind of think it's kind of hard to date anywhere. You know, the cultures here are different. The women here are different. The men are different. Everyone is all... Oh, I don't think anyone is ready here in Miami to be serious. Um, they, you might have some people that are, but there are some people that... You have the majority, rather, that are ready to just keep partying. I mean, Miami's that party city. Miami's, you know, where it's at. Miami's that, hey, come have fun, do whatever you want to do, and... You know, just live life. It's almost like a Las Vegas. You know, whatever stay, whatever happens here stays here. Okay, like, I, I heard everything you said, but now would would, would it be um, okay for you to date a guy from here, from Miami? Would it be okay for me personally? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what do you mean from what? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, but does he have to be this? from Miami? Or no, is, since we live in Miami, Miami right now, yeah. Well, I've dated someone who lived here in Miami. Um, I mean, you know. It's different. It's different. Uh, would I do it again? Probably not. You know, I'm, I like international. <laughs> I like my international. You, know, you, just, you, just, you, just, you I just broke your heart. Hurt my feeling right now because I mean, put in mind, I live in Miami. But where are you from? You're not from Miami. Well, I'm proudly to say that I'm from I'm from Haiti, but I live in Miami right now. I'm not in Haiti right now, so you know. There's this... a difference. There's a big difference. It's a big difference. Of course, your culture. Where's where you come from? And that's what makes it sometimes hard to date in Miami, is the culture that Miami brings. You have Spanish, you have Haitian, you have Jamaican, you have Bahamian. And each each one of those cu cultures embodies something different. They're going to bring something different to the table. I totally Some agree. people say that the Bahamian and Jamaican women are crazy, right? I heard that all the time. I don't you know, know if it's true, though. Well, you know, I'm part Jamaican, so it can be true if you, you push us there. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> what kind of guy would you date, actually? That's just the case. It's not a hard question. It's just um, that's a very serious topic for me. Um, for me to date someone, first first and foremost, he has to be God-fearing. I don't want him to be perfect, but I want him to be God-fearing. And the reason why I say that is, is if you have some type of fear of some type of spiritual being or a higher being or whatever you want to call it, you will have some type of reserve for the woman that you have. Definitely. And that's what I want, first and foremost. <clears throat> of course, looks play a part. You know, I want someone who I can wake up next to and feel secure with. I want to feel happy with. Um, you know, it's it's a lot. You know, I like someone who's, of course, like any woman, funny, who's outgoing, who's spontaneous. You know, I want a man who's himself. Oh, doing well. <laughs> you know, I love fitness. I love guys who who are about their 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 body, who take it, it serious. If that's the case, then I guess I, I might get lucky. No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Here's another requirement. How tall are you? Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, do you have to go there? Yes, I do, because I wear heels. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm 5'10". <laughs> With heels, I'm like 6'3". I, don't, I mean, come on, seriously. You know what? I, I'm going to have to skip that answer for that question you just asked. Really? Yeah. That's your word. <laughs> People, look. This beauty right here, and she's not lying. You see this right here? That's her That's her first movie, right? That was actually my first film back in 2010. It says crazy, 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 crazy love, crazy, crazy. I mean, actually, crazy love. Seriously, what, what is this movie all about? Um, crazy love is is pretty much what it is. It's crazy loves a man who loves a woman with no boundaries. Um, he would do anything to have her, keep her, um, to get her back to a point where he does some pretty crazy things. And um, I play the best friend, Miss Rosalind, to his wife. Mm -hmm. Um. And I'm basically trying to bring her into church and trying to help her 
to see her husband for uh, you know who he is. Is there anything particular that you're working on right now? Like, oh, most definitely, most definitely. I stay working. Um, right now I'm working on a play. It's called Just Come. Um, I'm the lead actress in that film. I mean, that play. It's a stage play. And my the name, my name of my character, I'm getting tongue-tied like you. <laughs> the name of my character is Essence. Um, I play an immigration attorney. I'm trying to help a family stay in the country um, for two weeks. Well, I only have two weeks to help them stay in the country with the whole immigration reform. Right. It's a really, really good play. And I'm not just saying it because I'm the lead or I'm in it. I'm saying it because it really is. It has great talents in there. Some really great talents. It's a romantic comedy. Oh. Mm -hmm. You guys got to come now. November 9th. Got to be there. Julius Lippmann Theater. Well, um, mesdames et messieurs, c'est là que nous allons arrêter l'émission pour aujourd'hui. Hein, et c'était avec nous encore mademoiselle Niji Sebek. Uh, <laughs> I remember. Yes, um, it is. Nous allons là pour aujourd'hui et puis uh, à la prochaine. I don't know what that is. Like... Yeah, you said this week, girl. I don't know what that is.